Okay, in this video we're actually going to um, figure out one more parameter and that's the long chord. So we know what delta is. Delta is the interior angle. Um, BC is the beginning of curve. EC is the end of curve. Um, we know the length of the curve. Um, and now we're going to figure out what the long chord is. Okay, so here I have a curve um, already drawn out. The curve starts here. Oops, it's not drawing. BC and it ends here at EC. Okay, and the distance from BC to LC along this curve is uh, a distance L. I'll call that distance L. Okay, and again, the two tangents are drawn, and their intersection point is called PI. Okay, now let's let's actually also draw. Let's draw the. Um, what would you call this? The radius? Okay, that's actually drawn very poorly. This should be the the very center of the circle. Okay, it's just, it's not drawn so well. But anyway, you have these distances R, they're both R, okay? And you know that this, this angle is delta. And we want to figure out what the long chord is. And remember, a, a chord is just the straight distance um, from one point on the circle to another point on the circle. In this case, we want to figure out what the long chord is from BC to EC, always. So we want to figure out what this, this purple, I don't know if you can see that, it's purple, what that purple distance is, okay? Now, if we were to take, if we took PI, and remember, these, these are at right angles, okay? So if we took PI, we drew this dotted line through delta, we realized that, actually, let me, this purple line is the long chord, okay? This is the long chord. It's the distance from BC to EC, the straight distance from BC to EC, okay? And if we did that, we know through geometry that this delta, this angle delta, if we draw a line from the PI to the center of the circle, this angle right here is delta over 2. And this angle right here is delta over 2. Okay? And so that means this long chord is actually divided into 2. LC over 2. They're both the same distance. So this part is LC over 2. So I'm, I'm saying from BC to this point of intersection where this dotted line crosses the long chord is LC over 2. This is also LC over 2, okay? This is getting a little cluttered, so let me draw out um, this triangle. So we have the long chord here. We have the dotted line here. Okay, we have the straight line here. And this is at a right angle, okay? So this triangle I just drew is this triangle here. It's it's BC to this intersection, down to the center of the circle, and back to BC. So this is BC, this point right here. This is the center, or I'm sorry, this is where the dotted line intersects the long chord line. And this is the center of the circle. I'll just call it center. Okay, and in this diagram we said this angle is delta over 2. Okay, this side, this I guess hypotenuse, is r, the radius r. Okay, and then this, actually we don't need to know what that is. Um, the distance from BC to the intersection of the dotted line and the straight line that's LC over 2, right? The long chord divided by 2. Why? Because it's symmetrical, okay? Because it crosses from PI through the center. So from here, we can actually derive an equation that would give us the long chord, okay? And this is just using basic um, trig. trig. Uh, we, have, we have an angle and we have two sides. Yeah. Um, so we have... Well, let's let's do let's do sine sine 
sine of delta over 2, right, the sine of this angle is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So it's LC over divided by 2 over R, okay? And let's solve for R. Let's bring R to the other side and we get R sine delta over 2 is equal to LC over 2. Let's bring that 2 over and we get 2R sine delta divided by 2 is equal to long chord, okay? So now we have an equation for the long chord. Uh, if we know, if we know the radius of this curve and we know the interior angle, we can figure out what the long chord is. And long chord, remember, is the distance from BC to EC. Okay. Now there's one more thing on this diagram I want to point out. This angle right here, this angle or this angle, they're the same angle. This angle is actually delta. This angle is the same as this angle. So where this two uh, radius lines intersect, the angle they make, the interior angle they make, is the same as the angle these two uh, tangent lines make. Okay, and um, let's let's actually do a proof. Let me draw out uh, one more diagram. It's going to be from BC to the PI to the EC to the center of the circle, back to BC, okay? So I'm going to draw out this little diamond-looking shape, okay? So down here, we'll have this, we'll have this, we'll have this, and we'll have this, okay? And remember, this is the center of the circle. I'm going to call it C, center. That's this dot right here. This right here is delta, okay? I'm actually going to draw this line. I'm going to draw these out a little bit more just so we get some, we know what we're looking at, okay? So here, I said this is delta, and we're going to prove that, okay? Remember, these two angles are right angles, okay? Why? Because the tangent line and the radius, they intersect here, and they're right angles here, okay? So these are right angles. Let's call this angle alpha, okay? And we're going to uh, figure out what, why this delta is equal to this delta, okay? So the first thing is let's figure out what alpha is, okay? Alpha is equal to, and you know that the interior, the sum of the interior angles of a four-sided polygon, polygon is equal to 360, okay? So it's 360 minus delta minus the two 90 degree angles, so 90 minus 90, okay? So if you simplify that, you get alpha is equal to, I believe, 180 minus delta, okay? And if we said if we said this was, well, we know we know what this is now. We know that this alpha angle is 180 degrees minus minus delta. And remember that the line from here to here, when it intersects another line, you know that the angle, you know that this angle, this angle is 180 degrees, okay? So, what this is saying, from, from what we figured out inside this four-sided polygon, we figured out that this alpha is equal to 180 minus delta. 180 minus delta. So if we called this delta, let's call that question mark, we don't know what that is. Uh, that's what we're trying to figure out. We can say that alpha is equal to 180, okay, 180 degrees minus alpha. I'm sorry, minus question mark, right? Question mark. So that's this delta, this angle right here, okay, that's 
question mark. This is alpha. Alpha is equal to this 180 minus this question mark, okay? So if we were to set both alphas equal to each other, if we said 180 degrees minus delta is equal to 180 degrees minus question mark, we can see that delta is equal to question mark. So this angle, this question mark angle, is delta, okay? And that's, that's the proof.